Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This will be a place where I document my process as an artist and as an individual in how I make images. I've thought about making a channel like this for quite some time. It's only ever really kind of come into fruition since the current COVID-19 pandemic. I thought I'd begin with how I develop black and white 35mm film. I think at the moment as well with COVID-19, everyone's kind of bored at home, kind of stuck. And um, I think a lot of people are looking for things to do. And I think this is important to, to learn. Um, it's just a part of the photographic process similar to learning Lightroom or Photoshop these days. So I think actually working with the film, actually working with a tangible thing, I think that's just an awesome thing. Starting off with the process, there's three basic chemicals that you'll need. A developer, a stopper, and a fixer. You'll also need some additional equipment to go on with this process. You'll need a developing tank, a dark bag or a dark box, a cloth, a thermometer, some photo flow, some measuring equipment, scissors, a peg or some clips to hang the film on, a bottle opener, some negative sleeves, and finally some storage for the negatives. Starting off, you'll need to put some things in your dark box or dark bag. Now you do this so that you can load your film into your developing tank. This includes your developing tank, your scissors, your exposed roll of film, and your bottle opener. Now as you can see, this roll is quite rusted out. Um, it's a bit nasty, I'm not going to shoot this. I'm just gonna waste this one. Um, but basically what you need to do is you need to do this in complete darkness with your own roll. Make sure that it doesn't see light at all because then it would ruin your film. So what you need to do is basically get your bottle opener, pop it on top of here, and then kind of just wedge it open. Might be a bit trickier with me because this is rusted. Basically you wedge this in. Now that that caps off the canister, what you need to do is you need to pull all your film out. You then use your scissors to cut your film just to make sure the end is straight. There'll be a couple of notches on your reel. What you need to do is make sure you wedge the film into these notches. I usually pull it forward just a little bit and then start rolling. I make sure I keep my thumbs on these two notches just so I can feed the film in as I'm turning it. Make sure your hands aren't wet while doing this because then your film will stick. Once you're at the end, just cut off the film. Once you've got your reel loaded up, then you can put it into your tank. Once again, doing this in complete darkness. The developer that I'm using today is HC110 from Kodak. I love this developer as it has an amazing shelf life and you only use a little bit of it each time you develop. For 500 mils of solution at a 1 to 31 ratio, I've got to mix in 15.6 mils of developer with 484.4 milliliters of water. Now if you're bad at maths, I, I just use this, um, this tool which is, that's going to focus, massive dev chart which basically tells you exactly what to do. So it's pretty simple, um, makes it a lot easier in the darkroom. Make sure you mix in your solution as well with the water. Another factor that you need to include is also temperature. Now this is crucial as temperature can change the developing of your negatives. It's always important to keep it at a constant 20 degrees Celsius. And in Australia where it gets a bit warm, you sometimes need a little bit of ice to help you out. So I often mix in a bit of ice just a couple of blocks just to make my water that bit cooler. You may have to heat it up depending on where you're located. With the stopper, I don't actually use anything fancy. I just use water from a tap. I do this as a money saving tactic and it does require a little bit more time because it does mean I have to rinse out my tank a little bit more. With the fixer, I actually made some up a little while ago when I was doing some printing. So I'm just gonna use that one today. But if you do reuse your fixer, make sure that you're monitoring how it performs because it can become exhausted at some point. For fixer, I just use Adox Fix, which is basically a one to nine, one to nine ratio. For every 500 mils that I make up, I make sure that I mix a 50 to 450. But yeah, recommend this stuff, it's cool. One thing that I also recommend is buying some photo flow. Now this stuff's pretty cheap and it can last you a lifetime. It's only a 200 to 1 ratio, so you hardly use any of it. It makes the drying process a lot easier and it cleans off the negatives at the end. 
The first step of the process is obviously the developer. So you pour this in, close the cap, and then start shaking. In terms of agitation, a lot of people do it differently. I personally agitate 10 times for every minute, just at the start of every minute. So I make sure I mix in the chemistry with the film. With the timings, they change for the developer as different developers cause for different times and different films cause for different times. Um, and the best way to look this up is, again, on that app that I mentioned before, Massive Film Dev. And I'll make sure I put the link below as well, just so that you guys can easily access that. At the end of the agitation, I make sure I give the tank a good tap, just so that any bubbles or anything would be cleared. After pouring out the chemistry, I make sure I rinse out any remaining chemistry within the tank. With the stopper, I roughly rinse about seven times with water, agitating in between. I just do this because I want to make sure that the negatives are nice and clean and that the developer is actually no longer in there and that the film's no longer developing. With the fixer, I make sure I have the same agitation method as the developer. Ten times for every minute to five minutes. If I do notice any kind of purple tinge to my film, then I will fix for a little bit longer afterwards. After using the fixer, I make sure I wash the tank out a lot more still, and then put in my final chemistry, which is the photo flow. I don't agitate that one at all, as it causes bubbles to rise. Uh, I just leave that standing for two minutes. Afterwards, I pour out all of the photo flow and then pull out my reel. I can then handle my film, but I make sure I do so with care, as I don't want to get any fingerprints or dirt on the negatives. I should probably be using gloves, but oh well. I then hang up my film to dry, and it's usually hung up overnight. I usually develop at night time, and I just leave it there overnight, as I don't want to be sleeving any negatives that are still wet. With the sleeving, I usually cut it off from the first frame in a row of six, just because my negative sleeve requires that, and then I sleeve them up. I then like to look at the sleeves through a light box, that way I can get a visual reference of what the images look like. I then invert them and then convert it to black and white if it's black and white that I'm shooting. Thanks very much for watching. There's going to be plenty more content in the future, just describing my process and different techniques and whatnot, so feel free to tag along and subscribe below.